This afternoon, the American Printing House for the Blind has been celebrating its 160th anniversary. Our Jonathan Wall is showing us how the group is leading the way with new technology. Stairwell 1 North entrance 26 feet deep. It's something most of us take for granted. Okay, that's telling me the east stairwell one entrance is here. The ability to look around us. So everybody knows what GPS is. People use it all the time. And now, a GPS for the blind or visually impaired. With Nearby Explorer, you can actually look around and find what stores are there and, and other features of the area that to a sighted person would be obvious, but to a blind person it's not. Keith Creasy's a programmer and technical lead on the project. Today, if you go to the Louisville Airport, the Kentucky Center, or the APH headquarters, you may notice these little beacons. When Keith points his phone at one, it does the scene for him. It's liberating to know what's around you and know what direction to go and have options that you really don't have if you're always dependent on somebody else to take you to a place. Nearby Explore is just one of the many projects underway at APH. It gives you a whole nother way of accessing uh, technology. Ken Perry is a software engineer and project lead for a tactile touch display. So this is the graffiti. You can think of it kind of a, as a monitor uh, for people with visual impairments. Each movable piece of braille can register at a different level, even helping users feel where different colors are located. The graffiti can even be used with your phone. I'm a Packers fan, so I pulled up the Packers logo on my phone. Now check this out. The logo in a tactile form. Right now, this is, uh, this is a first-time device, so this is like 1950s black and white. The first step with the goal of making it just as stunning as a modern TV. Reporting, Jonathan Wall, WHAS 11 News.